Hey guys, in this video, let us use IntelliJ IDEA IDE to create a Spring Boot application. In all the videos that I have shown you earlier, we have been using STS Spring Toolsuit to create the Spring Boot application. For a change, let us start using IntelliJ IDEA IDE to create a Spring Boot application. For this, let us first download this IntelliJ IDE. Let me open the browser, search for IntelliJ IDEA, click on the first search, click download. Now here you have got two versions, one is ultimate, the other one is community. Community version is free, so click download and download the installer. This is an exe file, so you can download and install it. Already I have downloaded it, let me show you. I have downloaded the latest one, IDEA IC 2022.1.3. This is a exe, so you can just click on the exe, go with the defaults and install IntelliJ IDE. To create a Spring Boot application, usually you need the Spring Initializer. That is, you need to go to start.spring.io. In case of Spring Toolsuit, it is available by default. So automatically when you select Spring Initializer, it will open start.spring.io. In case of IntelliJ IDE, if you want to create a Spring Boot application, there are two ways. One is by adding a plugin that supports the Spring Initializer. The plugin name is Spring Initializer and Assistant. So this is the plugin that you need to add it to your IntelliJ IDE. Once you have added it, automatically the initializer will be available and the rest of the process is similar to creating an application using Spring Toolsuit. The second way is using start.spring.io that is directly going to the browser, open the URL start.spring.io. You will get the Spring Initializer. You create the project using the initializer by adding the appropriate dependencies that you want. Then click on the button. The project will be downloaded to your system. After that, you can import this project as a Maven project into IntelliJ. So in this case, every time you have to go to the browser, create the project, download and open it as a Maven project in IntelliJ. So the easiest way is by adding a plugin that is the Spring Initializer and Assistant plugin. So let me show you how to create a Spring Boot application by adding this plugin in IntelliJ. By this time you will be having your IntelliJ installed in your system. Let us open IntelliJ. This is our IntelliJ. We need to create a Spring Boot application by clicking new project. Here you are seeing a set of generators. If you want to create a Maven project or Java FX project or Kotlin project. If you want to create a Spring project, as I told you, you need to add a Spring plugin. I have already added that, so that is why it is showing me Spring Initializer. Now let us see how to add the Spring Initializer plugin into IntelliJ and then create the Spring project. So let me give cancel. Here you got plugins. Select plugins. There is a search box. Go and search for Spring Initializer. Already I have installed the Spring Initializer, so that is why it is showing me in the installed section. Now for you it will be showing it in the marketplace. There will be a button to install it. Click install and install the Spring Initializer. Once it is done, click OK and restart your IntelliJ IDE. Again you will be getting the same window that we have seen already. This is the window that you will be getting again. Select projects, click new project. Now you will be having Spring Initializer added to IntelliJ. The Java version is 11. We are using Spring Initializer server. That is we will be using start.spring.io. Click next. See you are getting the same window just like the Spring Toolsuit or similar to that of start.spring.io. Here we need to fill in the details. In case of group ID, let me give it as com.srishti.dast. Artifact ID is spring hyphen basic hyphen rest. Let us create a simple rest API using IntelliJ. Project type is Maven project, language is Java, packaging is jar, Java version is 11. 
let me give the project name that also spring hyphen basic hyphen rest and the package name is com .shrishti. click next so this is your dependency window whenever you need to add dependencies you can pick and choose the dependencies from here and automatically it will be added as of now we are going to create a rest api select web select spring web the spring boot version is 2.7.1 spring web is added click next now you give the location where you want to create your spring project let me change the project location d drive 2022 slash intellij demos slash spring basic rest so this is the project name the location is intellij demos click create we don't have the folder so the folder will be created automatically now the application is shown in this window let me open pom.xml in pom.xml you can see the dependency that we have added spring boot starter web ok now let me open src main java com shrishti and you can see the main class in the main class the runtime is not set up properly that is why you are getting a red mark so we need to add the runtime for this application there are two ways of doing it in the bottom right corner you can see maven build scripts found so you can select load maven project so this project will be converted into a maven project that is one way or else select pom.xml right click add as maven project now automatically the runtime will be set up. You can see that we are getting the run button now. Okay, the application has loaded successfully. Fine. Guys, you need to know one more thing also. What if you have downloaded and installed IntelliJ already and you are having this window? In this case, how to add the plugin? Go to File, Settings, Select Plugins. Now come here and search for Spring Initializer. So here you have got Spring Initializer and Assistant. Select the Install button. Click on the Install button to install the Initializer. Click OK. Once this is done, you need to restart IntelliJ. Already we have done that. So let me close this window. OK. The next thing that you need to know is, in case of form.xml, we have added one dependency. Suppose say if we are adding few more dependencies. In that case, your application should be reloaded. In case of Spring Toolsuit, you will select the project, right click update project. In case of IntelliJ, how to do that? On your right hand side corner, you can see Maven. Select Maven. You select your project, right click reload project. When you select reload project, automatically the dependencies will be loaded. Now you can see here, there is a dependencies folder which is showing the dependencies that are added to the application. What if you want to run a lifecycle goal like maven package, maven compile. In that case, you are having lifecycle, you have got multiple goals, you can select it and run it or select this M. Automatically, it will list out the goals. You can pick and choose the goal to run the application. So, these are few things that you need to know when you are working with IntelliJ. Okay, fine. Now, let us start creating the controller. Select com.srishti, right click, new, package. Let me give the package name as com.srishti.controllers. Let me create a simple Java class. Give the class name as greet controller. Now let us add a simple REST API. Annotate the class with at REST controller. Then we will add the REST API. At get mapping slash greet public string greet message return good day now our controller is ready similar to your spring tool suit here also you are having the resources folder within which you are having application dot properties if you want to add any property specific to this application you can add it in application dot properties okay now let us run the application select spring basic rest Click on this run button, run the main method. Now the application is getting built. You can see on the bottom right corner, 
once it is built it will start running let me pull up this window and here you can see the application has started successfully in port number 8080 now let us check the rest api from the browser in the browser let me give localhost 8080 slash greet good day so here we have got the output so this is how we create a rest api using intellij ide that's it thank you